When there's no more hope is left in me, I can see what comes my way, and I'm always lost. There's no hello, my queen and kings. How are we doing, my amazing people? This is your girl, hmm? your baby girl, Mama V Unique in the building. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Good afternoon to you, good morning, good evening to you, depending on your time zone and when you will get to see this video. You guys know me, I'm a Nigeria YouTuber based in Italy and my name is Vera, popularly known as V Unique. That's the name of my channel, guys. I want to truly talk about something that I'm uh, that's really that has really disturbed me. I saw a video, I will drop the video for you guys to see it. And I asked, is that God's doctrine? Is that what is written in the Bible? Is that what God asked us to do? Because I became confused when I saw it and I felt really bad. You know, these days some churches and eh, create their own doctrine, as in they have their own doctrine. That is that is far, far, far from the doctrine, the commandments that God asked us to obey. I saw one video, I saw a pastor flogging his church members to know whether they are spiritually inclined before they can be ordained. Before they can be ordained or to, to hold any position in the church. I was like, <laughs> Where, 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 where are we going to? I don't understand. Where are we going to? What is happening? I felt really bad. He was flogging them. If, 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 if When he flogs them, if the cane pains you, he was using his belt to flog them. If the cane pains you, that means you are not holy spiritually inclined. Ah, this girl might pass me. That means you don't have holy spirit in you. If the pain pain you, that means you don't have Holy Spirit in you. But if you can be able to endure the pain of the king, that means you have Holy Spirit in you. You are ready to do the work of God. And I asked myself, how did we get here? How did we get here? Was this in the Bible? Because I have searched my Bible. I couldn't see it. Is this in the Bible? How did we get here? What is happening? What is going on? They have turned church to another thing. They talk and say, mad people, mechanic, no grievous, no mad people. DBS have lived their position, as in Jewish people, they have lived their position. Eh? All of them, they are wearing coat, they are wearing suits and a collar. Everybody is lying, Pastor. This is end time. We should be careful. We should be careful the people we call man of God. And the people we go to to lay hand and pray for us. You see this of this your forehead. It's your destiny, your future. If any man lays hand here, a wrong pastor lays hand there, he's taking away your blessings. We should be very careful the kind of churches we attend, the kind of people we go to for them to pray for us. We should be careful. The kind of people we go to. I will drop this video for you guys to watch. And please comment on the comment section what you think about this video. Because it's terrible. This is way, way, way out of line. The Ten Commandments. What is written in the Bible. I search the New Testament. I search the Old Testament. I have never seen where... God was flogging his disciples to know if they, are, they have Holy Spirit in them or if they are Holy Spiritly inclined. I bet when, I, when I pardon this my grammar because I don't know what to use. Watch the video and we'll be right back. Is to test to know whether you're ready for the ministry. He's not dead. He is not dead. 
piedras. the men and the women to know if they are ready to do God's work is terrible. If you have watched this video to an, uh, this extent, you will understand what I'm trying to say. Where are we going? Where are we going? I don't understand. This is not what God told us. This is not in the Bible. This is not anywhere close to the commandments that God, the things that God asks us to do. This is no way close to it. Some churches have their own doctrine. Some churches have what they follow, what they do. So we saw a clothes of uh, 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 um, the pastor and his wife and they were wear. I say, wait to. What is going on? Is that one also in the Bible? So many things. This is end time. We should be careful. It is certain that when it's the end time that we have false prophets, false prophets that will be calling the name of God. Preaching, preaching the gospel, fake prophets. We should be very, very careful. When I mean careful, we should be careful. Let's read our Bible. All the answers we are looking for is in the Bible. The Bible will direct you on what to pray, on what to do. Let's read our Bible. Let's read our Bible. The Bible will direct you. Go on your knees. Everybody is gifted. Each and every one of us have one gift or the other. I am not against having a spiritual father. I have a spiritual father. I am not against you having a spiritual father, but have one, have one that is God-fearing. Not be everybody will be, we, we call themselves pastors, that are real pastors. No, not everybody. Not be everybody. Not everybody at all. We have most of them that God didn't call them, they call themselves. I was wondering when did they receive that from you, that phone call? Who called them? Everybody is now a pastor. Anyone that can read the Bible and preach the gospel is now a pastor. We should be very careful. Let's be careful the people we go to to pray for us, the churches we go to. Not everybody that is calling my father, my father, knows this our God. No. Some are calling their own God in the name of their calling our heavenly father we should be very careful we should be when i mean careful we should be very careful the people we go to to seek for spiritual help the people we go to to seek for prayers the people we go to to pray for us you can pray on your own we are gifted all of us none of us that don't have the gift of god in, in us the only thing that we need is to, bring, to make it to manifest, go on your knees, fast, ask God for mercy, pray for yourself. I'm not going to pastors to do this and do that. I am not against anybody. Don't judge for you not to be judged. I am not judging. But you watch this video with me. What do you think? 
I want you to comment on, on, on the comment section and tell me what you think. Okay, great. Thank you so much for always stopping by to watch my video. And to my returning subscribers, oh, the VIP, the number one. Thank you so much. You guys are smooth. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. And if you've not become a part of unique family, eh? Kekwanifineche. What are you waiting for? That red button you saw there is free. Oh. You will not pay. They will not charge you. I don't have Google. Just press on it. Become a part of unique family. Like, comment, share my video. Thank you so much, guys. I will be stopping this video here. See you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.